I'm Annalise, and I'm coming to you live from Positive Choice Integrative Wellness Center. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, we are going to focus on mobility in this class. Um, and so we're working on range of motion, we're working on strength through uh, movements. So we're not going to use any extra weights, um, but I do have a few props on hand, okay? So today, we're going to work a little balance. So I have a, I have a weighted bar for my balance, but you can use a wall, you can use a chair, you can use a table, whatever is near you. Um, we have a mat, because we're going to go down on the floor, and I have a strap. So if you don't have an actual yoga strap, feel free to grab anything that is near you. You can use a dishcloth, um, you can use a hand towel, you can use a belt, um, whatever works, something that is non-stretchy, preferably, okay? And keep in mind that this is meant for general fitness. It is not meant to treat, diagnose, or override anything your doctor told you. So feel free to make any modifications. Um, if you need, do things on a chair instead of up, okay? So, and the most important thing is have fun. We have music going, it's low. Turn your own music on, cue it up right now, and uh, have a good time. All right, so shake it out, get yourself in the zone, and we're just gonna start by marching. So just get yourself moving. The goal of the warm up is to warm up, to get blood flow to the muscles. And if you're like me, and you want to track your, track your workout, <laughs> get your watch going, Remember, it doesn't happen if it's not tracked, right? Good. All right, big inhale, take it up. Exhale. Big inhale. Good. One more time. Fill up those lungs. Good. Now, knee up. Right knee, march, march. Knee. So wherever you're at, Get that knee nice and high. So even if your range is down here, remember, we're going for functional strength. So getting that knee up as high as you can, increasing the range of motion, increasing the strength of the muscle to pull it up there. Good. Two more, and we're gonna change this to a hip roll. So instead of the knee, you're gonna take it out. So getting that lateral movement, Good job, you guys. Heart rate should be coming up. Breath rate should be coming up. Excellent. We've got four more. And three. And two. And one. Good. Shake it out. I want you to grab that strap. And take it wide. Okay? The goal here is to not bend your elbows. And I want you to take it up and take it back as far as you can and then bring it back. Now, I don't care how high you can get this. I just want you to get range. Pull your abs in, and even if you're right here, that's okay. Come up and down for that. And if you can get it all the way around, do it, but don't do this to get it over your head, okay? Arms nice and straight, lift it up. Good, you should feel a stretch through the front of your pecs through the front of your shoulders. Good. One more. Now all the way down, come on back up. Hold at your midline, okay? And we're gonna make circles, so big circles. And your torso stays still. So we're getting range of motion through those shoulders. Elbows stay straight. Don't worry if you are like struggling with this. This is a little bit of a coordination thing. And I'm about to make it even harder on your coordination because you're going to hold it up and we're going to reverse it. So go the other way. Lead. Now, does it matter if you are doing perfect circles exactly like I'm showing you? No. What matters is the range of motion. So be nice to yourself. Remember, fun is the goal. Good. One more. Nice and big. Good, hold it up, shake it out. Put that strap off to the side. Hopefully you're feeling pretty <clears throat> um, 
warm. And so I want you to grab whatever you're going to start with the balance. Okay. We're going to open up our hips here. So I want you to pick up the opposite leg so that I have this like base and stability on each side. And I want you to go straight and kick behind you and kick up. So range of motion for that hip. Excellent. Try and keep your torso as steady as possible. This is all about those hips. And if you keep your upper body nice and steady, you'll also get a little bit of ab strength going here. Excellent. Two more. Last one. Good. Let's switch sides. Good. Get your base of support. Standing legs should be slightly bent. Don't lock that knee out. And come back. So keeping that torso nice and upright. It's really easy to want to like get this whole motion thing. But remember, we're going for increasing the range of motion. Give yourself a false sense of big movement. We compromise that torso. Excellent. Two more. Good. And switch. Now, I'm going to turn towards this because we're going to go out to the side now. So step away from your balance point, and then you're going to cross front and out to the side. Now, if you're like me, I have tightness out to the side here. Get a little wobbly. More so than my front side. Again, keeping that torso steady. One more. Good. Shake it out. That standing leg is getting a little fatigued. Switch sides and open. Cross that midline. My balance on this side is significantly worse. So I'm struggling a little bit. That's okay. Keep it going. Three, two, last one. Excellent. Shake it out. Okay. You can get rid of your balance for this if you're feeling pretty good. I'm going to drop mine because I'm going to challenge. So we're going to start out nice and easy. Feet under the hips and just roll up to your toes. Good. And the more control you can get from this, the better. Okay? So try not to let yourself come up and fall. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting a little glistening here already. My body's definitely warm. Good. Two more. One more. Good. We're going to give those calves a little bit of a break. And you're going to come here and lift. And then you're going to switch sides and lift and switch. So this is agility. It's switching directions and then it's strength pulling up to the top. Now, do we want to make this a little harder? Up, pull, up, pull. And so if you're in a chair, you can just knees up, right? Work on the strength of wherever you're at. Eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Nice work. All right. I'm going to tell off really quick. Just a little. Get that glisten going. All right. So now, squats. Feet under the hips. They can be a little bit wider. Toes out, they can be narrow. Pick the squat that works best for you. Put your weight in the heels, hips back first, and come on down. We'll start off nice and slow. Now the thing to remember about squats is they're very personal to you. 
and how far depth you want to go down is up to you and your body. So if you're like mini squats and any lower hurts your knees, guess where you're at for today? You're right here. If you can gain that depth, get that depth. Now we're going to combine this squat with the heel lift. So come down, reach up, come down, lift. We did these for the first time last week. Good. And remember, you can do this workout two to three times a week. Just make sure you're getting some days in between that you're doing other things like cardio or yoga. Do something that's fun. Good. Three more. Three. There you go. Two. Last one. Good. Shake it out. Shake it out. We're going to go a little bit wider here. And we're going to move in to some functionality for our legs. A little bit more challenging. Again, if you need to do it in a chair or you need to take a break, take it. So I'm going to start wide and I'm going to pivot. Okay? And I want you to reach up and then pull back. Reach up, pull back. Let's go a little faster. Up. Abs in and stretch through that hamstring on the way back. Good. Three and two. One more. Hold up. Step back. Bring it in. Come up tall on that back toe. Bend both knees and come on down and lift. Excellent. Keep the weight in the front heel and in the back toe. So you're coming straight down, straight up, and don't let that weight come into the front toe. Good. Now we're going to change this. So I want you to hold down and pull up. Pull. Pull. So now all of our weight is in that front foot. And you can stay here, or you can pull up tall. Pull. This is functionality. We're getting a lot of good work for those hip flexors today. Or you can stay here. You can make it a little. Three, two, one. Hold it back. Swivel front. We're in a wide sumo stance. Come on down. Hold here. Sink low into that squat and drop one shoulder. And come back through the center. And drop. And come back. Good. Feel that stretch. Maybe feel a little fatigue through those legs. You're doing great. One more on each side. Drop it. Come on back. Face front. Come on up. Swivel to the other side. So nice and tall. Reach up. Sit back. Reach up. Sit back. A little quicker. And always choose your own tempo. So if you want to go a little bit slower, form is key. Big deep breaths. Good. One more. Hold it up. Hold it up. Good. Step back. Bring your hands down. Both knees bend. Drop. Drop. Now, I feel some stretch here. I feel my glute on the other side firing. And depending on your calves, you might feel that back calf screaming at you. That's okay. Four. Three. Two, hold it down, pull it up. Back, pull. Make it a little quicker. Pull, pull. Stay 
stabilize yourself. Excellent work, you guys. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Step back, swivel. Keep that wide stance. We're gonna finish off this set with sumo squats. Come on down. Up, nice and slow to start. I want you to feel where your range is. Now remember the goal of this class is to increase your range, increase the mobility of your joints. Avoiding any pain. How we doing? I think you're doing really well. We're gonna push it a little bit down and hold. Hold. I'm gonna readjust here. Hands up. Weight in your heels. You should feel this through your inner thighs, through your glutes. Sink a little bit lower. Hold it. You are doing so good. Do not doubt yourself. This is a mind over matter thing. Your legs are strong. They are not gonna let you go. Stay with it. Breathe. Close your eyes if you need to, because you're staying here. Stay, stay, stay. We're working for that break. This is it. Don't let go. Don't let go. Three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out. Woo! Oh, you should be feeling good. Those legs should be feeling a little wobbly. Go ahead and grab water. Towel off. Get your mat. Hopefully we are feeling good. I'm gonna face you today. So do whatever you feel comfortable with watching the screen. And today I forgot my water off camera. But get yourself some water. Bring your towel with you. We're gonna build on some of the stuff we've been doing. So I'm going to wind up my mat so that I have some knee padding, okay? I'm gonna sit here for a second because this feels good on my quads. If you have any knee issues, do not open and load your knee like this, okay? Now, we're gonna come down and we're gonna work a little shoulder mobility, okay? So you're gonna come down onto your belly. And I'm just gonna towel off really quick before we get this going. So we're gonna start with the Cobra. You have done Cobra the past three weeks. So we'll start with that, hands under the shoulders or elbows under the shoulders, whatever feels good on your back, and big inhale. Take it up. Take a deep breath here. Stretch through those abs. Drop the shoulders. And then tuck your elbows towards your side and lower down. I want to see that control. Big inhale. Good. Lift those hips off the mat if it is in your ability. And then hug, 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 hug. Drop down. Good. Big inhale. Hug, 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 hug. Drop down. Good. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Big inhale. Squeeze. Come down. Excellent job. Now, arms are going to come out into cactus. And we're going to get in deep to our shoulder and pec uh, area right here. So I'm going to start here. And I'm going to take my opposite hand underneath my shoulder, and I'm going to roll open. And I'm going to bring my towel here to rest my head, because you really want to find a comfortable position here. Now, wherever you're at, just add a little bit. Good. We're getting into the shoulders here and probably into the hip. And 
now ease yourself back. We're going to do the other side. So open up. If this is too hard with the cactus on, take your arm out to the side. It's actually easier here. Okay, so we're going to do the other side. So plant that hand underneath. Get that towel. Open up. Let the weight of your body add through that stretch. Take a few seconds here. Relax into that. And then come back to center. And now we're going to move it into our hips for a little mobility. So hands remain underneath you. And you're going to reach and touch. And then come back and touch. If you can't touch, that's okay. So moving that stretch out of your shoulders and into your hips. Good. Last one. Come back center. Hands underneath your shoulders. Up into the cobra. Good. Come on down. We're going to go with our breath. Big inhale. Exhale, drop down. Keep those shoulders away from your ears. Hug those elbows. Good, inhale. Good, lower down, stay down, back to those hips. So switch and come back, switch. You may be noticing how tight the front of your thighs feel, how tight your hips feel. That's okay, that's the point. Good, give me one more on each side. I definitely have more range on one side than the other. And come back center. Take a little bit of a deep breath. Pull yourself up. Sit back into child's pose. Arms out. Drop your head. We're going to take a second here. Take your knees out to the side nice and wide. And sit back. And when you're ready, bring those hands underneath your shoulders, bring your knees together, and come on up. Good. Let's take a little break here for our arms. And shake your arms up and drop them down. If you want to stand up or you want to sit on a chair or you want to sit on your heels, it's all good. But palms to the back. Open up. And then we're going to give a little back arch here. So inhale. Good. Breathe into it. Take a minute. Let your body come down from this. Giving your hands a little break. Good. And bring it down. Shake it out. Okay. A big part of mobility is upper body strength. And so push-ups are a very functional part of this. So we're going to start easing into how we get good at push-ups, how you get strength through your wrists and through the rest of your upper body. You can do it on the ground or you can do it in an incline. So pick a wall, do your kitchen countertops, the back of your sofa, whatever works best for you. But what we're going to do here, if you're with me on the ground, is we're going to do from the ground push-ups. Now these are not easy, but we're going to do them. Okay? So, and we're going to do them from the knees. And what this is going to take is this is going to take not only upper body strength, but it's going to take ab strength to pull your body up. Okay? So hands underneath the shoulders, maybe a little bit wider. And pull those abs in. Push up. Good. And then control, come down, let go. From the ground, brace those abs, push up. 
control, come down. Good, release, down, press up. Yes! If you do one of these today, be proud of yourself, especially if you've never done them before. Good, we're gonna do one more. Release, pull those abs in nice and strong. Right through the back, squeeze and press up. Good, sit back. Sit back. Good job, you guys. Feel strong at that. All right. We are going to flip on over now. We're going to move to our backs. And I'm going to move my mat so that it's facing the other way. Feel free to readjust. Get yourself some water. Now we're going to work a little bit of the back side. So, have a seat. And we're going to start here. I want you to start sitting up. I'm going to have you earn your way down to the mat. All right? So, this is something else you can do in the chair. You just make sure that you're on the edge of the chair. And we can start here. And we're just going to add on to this, okay? So you pick where you feel challenged, but you can hold it. And we're gonna come back. So first lean. Keep your back straight, drop your shoulders down. This could be where you're at today. But I'm gonna start adding on here. So, hands out to the side. Feel good? Let's go to the next level. Lean back a little bit more. Pick those legs up. The second you start to do this, you are done. Open up through that chest. Next. Straighten out those legs, arms overhead. Woo! Pick your option. And come on down. Good job. Let's do that again, shall we? All right, you know your option this time. So go right into it. Open up through that chest. And squeeze. And if you're shaking, I'm shaking, that's okay. Big deep breaths. And release, come in. Walk yourself down, and I want you to go down as slow as you can. So round that back this time. Hit every vertebrae. This is about strength, too. Round that low back into the mat first, and then slowly peel up, and you're down. Hands by your hips, bring your heels close to your body, and press down through those heels. Lift up. Easing in here. Press through those hips. Squeeze your glutes. Don't let it go into your back. Your glutes are your prime movers here. Breathe. Good. Now up and hold. Up and hold. Pulse. 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 Squeeze those glutes. This is a great exercise if you have knee issues. It takes pressure off the knees, but it strengthens those glutes that stabilize your knee joints. Up, up, up. Now nice and slow, roll it down. Good, before we move on here, pull those knees into the chest. Round that back, maybe rock side to side. Feel it out. You guys are doing great. Good. Release on down. Hands behind the head. I'm going to interlace. I'm going to interlace here. And I'm going to lift up and come down. So relax your head into your hands and squeeze through that rectus abdominis. Excellent. Now let's add on to this, shall we? I want you to bring your legs up. Knees stacked right over the hips. Lift. 
and down into the floor. I want nothing moving through your torso. Eight, seven, six. You got this. You got this. Stay with it. It's only four more. You can do it. One more on each side. Finish it and come back. Extend those legs. Extend those arms. Give yourself a nice arch through your abs. Good. Now, bring those knees in. Drop them towards me and roll to your side. I am going to bring my towel over here. We're going to work on a little bit of side plank and we're going to work on getting up off the floor essentially. Okay? So we're going to do two things. And this is building for what's coming in the weeks up. So I'm going to bring my arm underneath my shoulder here. Okay? Now, I want to bend my knees. All right? And we're going to start here. I'm actually going to line up a little bit. And this is option one. And then lower down. Okay? You want to make sure that your elbow is stacked right underneath your shoulder. Don't let it go out there. It's too much pressure on your shoulder. Option two is to get yourself in a full plank and lift and come down. Good. Knees or toes. This arm is helping you a little bit. Lift up. Come down. Lift up. Come down. Good. Lift up. Come down. Lift. Now this time, lift and hold. Lift and hold. And if you can, pick that arm up. Reach, reach, reach. Breathe. Good. And come on down. We'll build on that as the weeks to come. Second part of our mobility, you're going to come down. Okay. Arm up, lift. Good. And I'm actually going to switch this. I'm going to take my leg here, take this here, and lift. So drop down underneath your shoulder, reach out, lower down. Keep that arm up. Up. Now some of you might know in the weeks to come, this is going to be the basis for a Turkish getup. Turkish getup is one of the most fundamentally uh, fundamental <laughs> moves that will help us get up off the floor and use all of our muscles. Come on down. Good. Lift it up. Good. Come on down. Excellent. One more. Up. Hold here. Bend those knees. We're going to switch sets. So we're going to start with that plank. So stack that elbow right underneath your shoulder. And you have knees in line with your hips. Lift. Now here's where you might start noticing that one side is stronger than the other. For me, this side is much stronger. I have a little bit of a shoulder injury going on here. And so this side for me feels much more stable. Good. And control is the name of the game. Control up, control down. Up and down. You're doing great. Don't forget to breathe. Last one. Good. Drop down. Now, coming down for that get up. Arm comes out front. Cross that leg here. Arm up. Now, if you cannot do it with the arm up, that's okay. You can be down here. You can be here. Okay? So, arm up. Right here. Stack yourself. Good. The lower down should be controlled. If you find yourself falling, 
Just work on that controlled fall. That's all it is. Nice and tall. Don't forget to breathe. Have fun with it. Do you ever have any thoughts about like, oh, this is hard, I can't do it, this is not for me? Get them right out of your head because it's all for you. And just because you can't do something one day doesn't mean you won't do it on day five. But if you quit, you definitely won't ever do it. Excellent. We're gonna do one more. One more. Hold up. Hold up, yes! Good, come center. Sit up tall. Give yourself a little pat down. If you need water, grab that. We're gonna move back to the 90-90s. We skipped that last week, so we're gonna revisit it. Now all these videos, if you're doing them with us live, then feel free to just roll with it. But you can also revisit things. So if we did a workout that you found particularly hard, or one is too hard and the other one is better, keep doing that until you feel good about it. So, we're gonna start in this 90-90. So, your feet should be away from your body. Knees should be at about 90 degrees. And for some of you, this might be good. So if this is good, you hang out here. But we're gonna add some mobility to this. So, you're gonna reach around and twist and really feel that stretch through that back. And then come to the other way. Open up through that spine, nice and tall. And come on back center. And then you're gonna bring it into the center and switch sets. Good. So it doesn't have to be pretty. You just have to get there. Pull those heels away from your body and twist. Big deep breaths, and walk it, go the other way. Big twist, and come back center. Let's switch it side to side. So now we're gonna add to this. We're here, you're gonna come up, come down, twist, and twist, and then switch sides. Hip strength, hip mobility, nice and tall, lower down, twist, and twist. Switch to the other side. So getting some good spinal mobility here, getting some good strength, and twist, and twist. Good, switch to the other side. If you can't get to the other side without using your hands on the ground, that's okay. You'll get there. Twist. And twist. Good. Let's do one more on each side, shall we? Switch. Lift it up. Lower down. Twist. You guys are doing great. Let's finish this off. Other side. Good job. 
come up tall, we're going to take that right leg forward. And take it big forward. So you notice I'm stepping in front of my knee. And that is going to give me space to lean forward. And you can drop down or you can keep it up here. Okay. And then take that opposite arm and reach up. Give yourself a little bit of a back bend. Pressing through that hip. Open up. Take some deep breaths. Good. Now, take that hand, drop it down next to your foot. We're going to do a little bit of advanced move here. So if it's not for you, that's okay. But I'm going to walk my foot out to the edge of my mat. Then I'm going to reach back, grab my foot, and lean forward. Getting through that quad. And let me tell you, you do not have to make it pretty to get in this position. I have been doing this for years, and that's as pretty as it's gotten for me. Relax into this, opening up through that quad, and then lower down, release down. Work yourself back, let's switch sides. So, opposite foot, step it way forward. Lean up, so you can drop down, or you can be tall, and then add that arm, working where you feel good, getting into that hip, take some deep breaths. Now take that hand, bring it down, drop it next to your foot. Move that foot out to the side, so it's a little bit wide. Then reach back, grab that toe, and lean forward. Put your head wherever is comfortable for you. I don't know about you guys, but I feel this most in my quad. And remember what I said, just because you can't do it today, doesn't mean you won't do it on day five. Good, release on down. Walk yourself back. We're gonna ease on up to a standing position. So come on back, tuck those toes. Use your hands, press back. Stay here for a second. Let those heels drop down to the ground. Rounding through that back. And then slowly start to unwind yourself, pressing your hips up. And you can take your feet wide if you want. You can bring them in narrow, but just fold forward. Let the weight of your torso add to this stretch, releasing your back, releasing your hamstrings. If you need to, you can bend your knees a little bit. You can use the support. Now bend those knees a lot, bring those hands to the thighs, and I want you to round up one vertebrae at a time. Coming all the way up to standing, nice and slow. Give me some shoulder rolls. Good, couple big deep breaths to end the day. Big inhale. Exhale. Big inhale. Good, bring it back down to the center. Nice job today, you guys. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next week, but be sure that you're tuning in to all of our live classes here at Positive Choice.